Hello, welcome Patreon folks. This is Inventor Dan Zen, Dr. Abstract from Zim, and we've launched Zim 10. So a whole new site right here featuring 10 great things that you can make with Zim. Generative art, games, interactive logos, etc. All the way through there. When you press on in, it will show you examples that we've made with Zim of generative art. You can click on any of these to try them. And you can also open up the More section. And in the More section, it talks about how Zim helps with these topics. It gives you examples and the types of things that we're using. Also, how they've been used in industry and uh, industry examples. Let's see where are they are. There's some industry examples and in education and then less. So that's really cool but not only have we helped out with the site to show you some ideas and uh, samples and that stuff uh, there's also new is zim retina R retina is retina quality look at the crispness of that isn't that amazing so this is 500 by 400 scaled up to the full monitor here so that's zim retina if you press on the Zim 10, or indeed press on the 10 here, you'll come to what was new. So we integrated physics. So physics is very easy to use now. You just say, hey, if you have a circle, you just say add physics, dot add physics, and it will fall to the ground uh, with physics. And so there's all sorts of examples of how those that's been integrated here. And let's go back and take a look at 10. Uh, a new accordion list, so that's a list with accordion, and brought in SVG. So this is a pretty amazing SVG to a Zim blob or squiggle. So it's SVG that you can then go and adjust, or you can do an SVG to a bitmap, which you can't adjust. So isn't that cool? <laughs> Oops. Bye-bye <laughs> dress. <laughs> All right. Um, so back in 10, along with that, we've been adding things to 10, and this is a Patreon post. Um, each time we add things, oh, we're so happy to be able to provide these things like a hit test pass, path. So now, now that we've done animation around a path and have done more path work, we um, can actually do hit tests against paths. Uh, traversing a path, so you can go from one point in a path to another with an object as, as you animate the object. The retina we talked about, arcs, uh, made some cool sci-fi with arcs. Now our list has checkboxes. We can flip tiles. That's for people who are reading right to left. It helps to have tiles work in that way. So we are definitely listening. These are all things that people are requesting and asking for in the Zim Slack. Come on by zimjs.com slash Slack if you have anything you're thinking of. And Zimon, this is amazing. Zimon lets you record uh, any object, any Zim object, not just strings and numbers and arrays and object literals like JSON, but this is Zimon, so you can make a whole, we did uh, isometrics, a whole um, board here, and everything in here can be recorded to a string, stored in a database, um, sent back, and recreated here in Zim. Uh, so that's pretty amazing to be able to do that. And this was a lot of fun as well, uh, where you can make paths move along here. Here, let's go get that orb. And there it goes to get the orb. We made, made a nice maze, and now the orb's gone somewhere else, and, um, <laughs> and so forth. So that was isometrics. We've added styles to all of the controls. So not only do the display objects have styles, like CSS, but all of the controls now do as well. And remember, CSS came after coding. We've already been doing this kind of stuff in coding. We've just used object literals in here, because that's what we use in coding, to bring the same types of features that styles uh, have brought. We have connected to Adobe with this Adobe Shim. Zim already worked in Animate, but there were some uh, hiccups. And this is this is like a week long, um, hard, hard coding to be able to bring this into play. It turned out that CreateJS 
Um, well, when you export CreateJS in Adobe Animate, it scales the stage. And so that messes up all of the local to local, local to global, global to locals. We had to recreate those in Zim, make sure they all worked uh, across. This was like hundreds of changes throughout to make sure that working with Adobe Animate works well. And Shim is just this little bit. It's th Those are the commands right there. Uh, and we've created a template for you and just say, hey, start off with this one and uh, you'll be working really well in Zim uh, in Adobe Animate. So we've had people and on Slack, we've had people working on that. And in Slack, we've started an Animate uh, specific um, channel. So you can come in and check that out there. Also, uh, provided ways to do model view controller and added, finally added Zim to Node Package Manager. So a long time coming, but that was a lot of work. We had some people working on it, it just never happened. And we know for the last couple of years, we've been trying to do it and finally sat down and over weekends and uh, the next week kind of figured out how to do that and make it work with uh, CreateJS as well in Node Package Manager. So that was just a quick overview of what's been happening with Zim 10. And that's just Zim 10. Zim Neo, if you take a look at examples, we've, we've also been building for people in CodePen. So these are all CodePen examples and helping that community start to look at uh, adventurous things on the canvas. And it's coming along, we're, we're getting more people. And then the rest of the, the examples there. Um, but Zim Neo, Zim 9, brought all that dynamic animation where you can animate along a path and drag along a path. So here we are dragging along a path. There's the path right there. Isn't that nice? Fine, but now we can move the path. Amazing. I've never seen that before. So I've never seen that in, uh, in any library back in Flash days where we can dynamically change the path and still continue to drag along it. And that's not all. There's, uh, there's more to it than that. There's all of these different things that we've added in Zim Neo, and that was Zim 9. If we go back to the About section, you're always welcome to scroll on down here in the About section and see historically what's happened. Zim 9 was that, Zim 8 or Oct added styles. So we've added styles uh, as well as Zim School. So a whole school to help learn, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So always exciting uh, to, <laughs> to create things and provide help uh, for people. So this has been Dr. Abstract talking about the latest updates in Zim. Patreon really helps. We're coming close to a point where we feel like we want to get some, some uh, real paid for marketing to get out there to the people. I think we're, we're ready. Presumably by Zim 10, we're ready to make it big. <laughs> so we, we, um, we may need some help with that. And uh, your support has been great. And thank you very much, all you Patreon supporters already. It uh, really it does mean a lot to us. Money is not a big issue, but it's obviously helpful. It helps us see that, you know, this will be worthwhile in the end. So thank you very much. Goodbye.